Manchester United 2, Weathers original nils. Manchester United beating the Toffees. Two goals to nil. Everton receiving a last whooping from Manchester United from first half to second half. Manchester United collecting three points, baby. That's what we need on a Saturday 12.30 lunchtime kickoff on Easter weekend, bank holiday weekend, a four-day weekend to set hours weekend off. What a match for Manchester United. What a performance in in certain aspects. Of course, Manchester United just only going, getting two goals with so many chances. I think Manchester United had about 27, 29 shots at goals against Everton, 11 on target, but still only two shots that went past Jaden Pick, Jordan Pickford. Jordan Pickford with an amazing performance in the first half, keeping a lot of people at bay, especially in that first half where um, Rashford had an opportunity, one-on-one -on -one opportunity there, and of course didn't get through Pickford getting there. Anthony as well, two one-on-one -on -one chances and Pickford saving. Same thing with Aaron Wan-Bissaka. At some point in the game, he was thinking, when the hell are we going to score? But the goal came in. The goal came in after Marcel to beat Sir Ernest and the team were doing so many things as well. McTominay being the first guy to get the goal in. First of all, lovely assist by Jaden Sancho. And one two with Rashford as well. Sancho finding um, finding McTominay to McTominay to finish the goal straight into the right hand corner of J Jordan Pickford's side. And it was a wonderful goal there. And and it's so funny. McTominay, who has been linked with a move away, gets a goal to just show Eric Ten Hag. I still got things to fight for in this club. I still got a position. I still were in the position. One new half-time Manchester United going into the second half thinking, we're all thinking, fans are thinking, and I'm thinking, we need a second goal because I predicted a 2 nil win. And as well, one nil is not safe. So Manchester United going to that second half. And it wasn't the best to start because Everton thought to themselves, we can come back. No, no, but this Manchester United team, we, we can come back. We can do something against Manchester United. We are the toughies. We are Weathers Originals. Let's see, we can get them tooth decay if we wanted to, you know. But they didn't. The second half, a goal came from Manchester United. Do you know what? A mistake there as Everton was growing into the game. But Seamus Coleman lost the ball, made a mistake. Rashford smartly, intelligently found that situation, got the ball off of Coleman from his mistakes. Um, and also slid through the guy Anthony Marshall to make it 2-0 to Manchester United and from there we was in heaven we was like yep game set and match good night Vienna for Everton the game finished 2-0 full time Manchester United fans are happy I'm happy I enjoyed today's game you know I, I enjoyed the performance as well the amount of shots we've had the fact that the sun was out and it was a nice day as well for us at lunchtime to get this thing out the way the players did well in, in in certain aspects. Players as well, such as Maguire, he did all right today, you know. He does scare me. McTominay had a very good game. I feel like he had a man the match performance today. Sabitza playing in a number 10 role, which was pivotal, absolutely pivotal for Manchester United, you know. Did so well. Bruno played that in two or three different oppositions today. Mark Rashford, I'm so upset because he caught an injury and had to come off during the last couple of minutes of the second half. But it is what it is, man. I'm enjoying it, man. Man, the match today has to go to Scott McTominay for that goal, for the performances, for the interception. He was fighting as well. He done extremely well. So beats as well in that midfield, done well as well. Very vital and important. And don't give the match today. I, I don't know. I, will, I can't give it to anyone. You guys let me know. This has been your match reaction from your boy Ivorian Spice, you know. Manchester United have won three points in the bag. We move on to Seville. Make sure you join me on Monday for the catch up at 8 p.m. UK time, you know, so we can dissect the game with the mandem and talk everything Manchester United, our weekly podcast as well. As always, guys, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, share. Let me know your comments in below. Let me know who your man the matches, who your donkey the matches. And as always, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it ready. United. Your boy is out. <sighs> Peace.